Meredith, do you want to get the bread? 44-year-old Terry Reed is like any other mom, balancing the daily chores. Check, make sure you have everything. With the checklist of her family's favorite sport. You could say it's an obsession. <laughs> With one daughter playing hockey, another managing a hockey team. Is that second place? And a hockey so coach for a husband. There we go, back to the rink. The grind of the hockey schedule was simply torture. And there's nothing to do. There's only so many hot chocolates you can have at the rink, and it's cold, and it's, it's just... You hated it. It was horrible. I finally just said, you know what? This has gone on too long. I need to try. Four years ago, Terry joined a league of her own. Three times a week, year round. She plays on one of three women's teams. This season, she's center for the Danbury Battle Axes. It's an escape. I don't think about, oh my gosh, I've got all this laundry to do. And oh, I just had this horrible fight with my husband. And you don't think of any of that because you just, you're just trying to survive out there. <laughs> really. The battle axes are in good company. Part of a growing trend of women and moms <laughs> breaking the ice. <laughs> if you fall, uh, well, that's why I have a lot of patent. <laughs> 61 year old Ann Brewer was a trailblazer in the sport. She played at Brown University in 1967. Back then, there were fewer than 20 women playing in the country. We were the first collegiate women's team in the U.S. We had, we had to go to Canada for our opponents. A lot has changed since then. In just the last 20 years, USA Hockey estimates that female membership has grown tenfold, from 6,300 players to more than 60,000. How long do you think you're going to be doing this? Till I, till I break something? <laughs> I can't imagine not ever doing this, even into my 60s and 70s, and really. Now that's putting retirement on ice. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Danbury, Connecticut.